Now you can notice we completed set, we completed defining the set. Next is what? Set size, membership and no index. Size is common property. If you apply the length, we are able to get the how many items are available, we are able to get it. How many items are available? One, two, three. That's what it's saying as three. Membership is the given item available inside this one or not. We can validate here bar is available in the X or not. If available, it says true. If not, it's going to say false. It is case finished to also. If right here capital F, small f is available, but capital F is not available. So it's saying as false. If you want to write here tomorrow for loops, you can write here for i in x, then one by one will be printed like this. And it has no index. No index means if I write x of 0, it's saying as set object does not support indexing. These are the three properties what you need to understand. Let us try to provide some hands on on this one. Okay. Right. I am trying to understand, let us say A is equal to, A is equal to, we are trying to provide, for example, A, then we are trying to provide B, then we are trying to provide, let us say, C, three things I provided. Now, what is the type of this one? It is a set. If I ask what are the items are available in the A, I am able to see A, B, C, I am able to see it. Now, I want to go for length of this one. Length is a common function. It supports for any object, in fact. It may be string object, list object, tuple, okay, whatever it is. We can apply the length function. This is how we are able to know what is the size of what is the size of our set? Now, let us go for the membership. The given item is available in that set or not. For example, C, C available in A or not. C is available inside the set A or not. I am trying to validate here. So, if available, it is going to say true. If not, it is going to say false. C is available inside the A. So it's saying as true. For example, I'm asking here D is available inside the A or not. D is not available inside the A. It's saying as what? False. Down the line, you are going to learn about for loop. Once you learn for loop, one by one of the set, if you want to print it, you can go and you can print simply something like this. You can print it. Now you can observe. One by one it is printed. First is A. Second is what? C. Third is what? B. It is not printed A, B, C. Why? Because? Yeah, it is unordered. It is unordered. In the memory, it is not stored like this. In the memory, it is stored like this. One by one it is, it is, showing, it is showing to you. That is what it is unordered. Am I clear? Now we know what you mean by size and we know what you mean by membership. It is available or not. We come to understand. And membership, you can write here individually or you can write through the for loop also. You can write this also part of the membership only. One by one, we are reading it, right? One by one, we are reading it. Now, <coughs> we understand what you mean by set. We understand what you mean by membership. Now, I want to go for what you mean by no index. If I am trying to see A, A contains, these are the three values. If I want to read first item, can I use A of 0 and can read it? No. It is saying as set object as not supported indexing. That means what? Set as set as no index. It is an unindexed one. Set as no index. Only you can see the membership only you can see it. But you cannot read particular item whatever you want it. You cannot read it. Please try to look into these three things. One is size, second is membership, third is no index. Please look into it.